Hi everyone, I hope I found you well. Today I am teaching this tutorial uh, that is all about introduction to Inventor. So with Inventor, what you actually do is when you open Inventor, you should find and see a dashboard like this. Then here you should see we have new open projects, symbols, home, team web, so yeah. This is the top part that we have and we also have new and in Inventor what you need to know is that you create parts, assemble them, put them on a drawing layout and present them. So this presentation, so today this is the presentation which is the last thing that we do and obviously first of all we always draw a part. If we need to assemble it, we can assemble it or we can go for a part then put it on a drawing paper. I would like you to check here, we also have what is written projects here. So in Inventor, we always work with the projects. And as you can see, these are the projects that I made last time with my software. And you should know that the project that is active is the crane. And if I can click here, note that I have changed my project, project from placing and it has gone to another project and on preview, and get to see the drawings that are loaded that I made uh, using that project. So, firstly, today I would like to teach you how to get to open a new part, start drawing, and how to create a new project. Right. So, in order for you to create a new project, what you do is you click new, you click new again. After clicking new, you should check here. There is a small dialog box that, that comes out like this and let me adjust mine and you should note here there is just below this project in vendor electrical projects or so you so you click on projects then it should give you another smaller dialog box like this then you come click new then after new it asks you what type of project are you creating then you click leave it on new single user project then you click next, then it asks you for project name. So for today, I just need to put it as tutorial. Project. Then after writing the name, you click next, then it gives you this box, then you click finish. It should give you this message that is in the port project path you enter does not exist should it be created then you click ok you should note that you now have tutorial project and after doing this you click not done after clicking done if I click this up down if I come and check here under my project I can see that I'm on tutorial project it means that everything that I'm going to draw is going to be inside my tutorial project so in order for you to start to draw a new part, you can easily come here and click on new part. You can get there, but the proper way of doing it is that you click new, you click new again, then you expand ENUS there. Then after expanding ENUS, you click on metric. Then you should note that there is now four boxes there that are on top there, and you should take standard part millimeter IPT and if you click it leave it highlighted then you click uh, create but before you create you should note that the first thing here we have project file and the project file name is tutorial project and we are now creating a part inside our own tutorial part so if I click create you should note that it takes time to load but it's opening it's loading, actually it's open. All right, then you should note that you are you are now facing a new dashboard, a dashboard that is the ribbon and it's under 3D where we have sketch, annotate whatsoever. And to start drawing a new sketch in this um, a new, because remember this is part and you should check here, we are having a name here which is part one. So in order for us to change, to give the name to our part, 
we just come to the top and click save then after that we remove part the part name and put the part name if you are drawing a desk or so if for example we need to draw a desk you just put the name of something that you are modeling for example now and you can see that you are saving in tutorial project which is a project that you have created and inside tutorial project you have also an option even to right click and create a new folder let's say for example it's an assembly you need to put parts in different and assemblies in different folders so you can just click there and write parts like that then double click to open the folder then you put save your desk inside if you do not now here we have a home icon and we also have the desk that we have created meaning to say now the project that we are actually doing is is now having its name and to start a new to start modeling you need to click here on start to this sketch then click start to to this sketch and you get to see the planes and in vendor when we are designing and modeling we always work with these planes so it said that you choose this plane or this plane or this plane to draw on i think you have enjoyed it and i think you are now able or able to create a new project so before i end this um, tutorial i need to come back to home again then repeat the same process that i did so to create a new project you click new new then you click on projects after clicking on projects you come click new then you click next then you put the name of the project that you need click finish and follow the processes that are there i hope you have enjoyed next in my next tutorial i'll be teaching how we get to model parts in, in vendor i hope you enjoyed have a good day remember to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of the tutorials that we make have a good day